It's an attitude change. Mm. That's it. I'm telling you, think about it. And that's all I was trying to say. And yeah, I'm not trying good. to, to no, downplay you in a way. I'm just saying, be a mother beast out here. Mm. That's what this shit is about. I don't really pay attention to the negative. I pay attention to the people that are actually benefiting from the product. And if people aren't benefiting from the product, then maybe the negative is correct. Yeah. Then I might slightly look. I was like, you know what? I ain't got a great review in you know, the last six months uh, on this product. Maybe we need to look at it again. Maybe I need to look, go back and look at the comments. Maybe yeah. I need to go back and review certain things. But until then, if I'm getting people that's having great experiences with things that I've created, then I just keep moving forward. We're in a world where everybody has an opinion and everybody get a chance to express their opinion now on social media. And unfortunately, it's good and bad because of that. Yeah. So you got it. So you just got to take it how you take it. Yeah. I just keep moving. We don't want you to settle. Don't settle. And especially my ladies, don't start panicking, thinking it's getting too late. Trust me, if you keep yourself together, mind, body mm -hmm. and spirit. Yep. You'll never run out of options. There will always be an option. It's about being your best self. But also, at the same time, don't wait too late. Like, don't wait later than you have to because of reasons that you think are valid in real time that 20 years later won't be as valid. Welcome to another episode <laughs> of the Social Proof Podcast. That's what I would have told him. I get the f*** out of here. We... <laughs> Hey, hey, D, can I get the edited version? We have please? a we have a very uh, colorful just guest. Just a clean version, please? <laughs> why just oh, why you can't just... What you mean? I gotta be clean. You don't. You don't. You can do whatever you want, but then it's it's extra work on Kashif because he's got to. He um, everything I do be breathe. just spontaneous. Yo, right, AD, well, you well, here yeah, with me today? Do you be yourself? That's what I'm talking about. That's what. Mm. <laughs> be you today, King. I try Kashif. Grand so. Rising. How's your day going? Oh, lovely. Lovely. Wait a minute. Did we start the podcast? Yeah, we, we did. Started. You know, first I want to complain. <laughs> I want to complain because I look over there and you guys got this nice table for the water. I don't have nowhere to put it. Am I supposed to put it on the ground? You yeah. can. Or you can just tuck I it. Mean, right I mean, I see where you... all the wealth around here, all the money. <laughs> and I just be like, can we can we share with the people to come do the podcast with you? Can yeah. I get a small table? We will keep that in mind. We'll keep it in mind. We'll keep that in all mind right. for sure. Out. Yeah, and tell you know, put that water on that couch. <laughs> You put that joint on the floor. Add a small table to the list of things we are not purchasing for this thing. <laughs> we got, Yo, we got a whole building, building, building to build out right now. We uh, ain't purchasing nothing. 100%. <laughs> nah, I love the building. We you got, guys we got, are doing it. Uh, well, we got another one, though. Oh, that we just do you have time to take him to it after this? Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. You want to go right. see it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love uh, anyway, we got, we got AD Dolphin in the building, man. He just happened to be in town. And uh, first he's like, yo, let's get together. We couldn't get together yesterday. And I was like, well, come here at nine in the morning. We could play 2K. Oh, I hooked wow. them. I oh, still got it on the screen to, as a reminder. Is that what y'all started y'all's morning doing today? Yeah. Well, we did start, but then he doesn't want to mention some of the other parts. I was unfamiliar with the system, unfamiliar with the button. He doesn't give you any hints or any instructions, nothing. He just throws you out there. It was That's new what, controllers? I'm, it's a setup. The A it, and the B, but the X and the O, they, they were in different places. They were, she knows you. I this know you. This, she knows and you. This, ex, this episode is going to be about excuses. So <laughs> when I first had the conversation, I make this a, a business principle. So when I first, uh, when we sat down to play, because he normally plays on Xbox and I have a PlayStation here. And when I go to his house, I play on Xbox. It doesn't matter to me, right? So I said, you know, I don't hear no excuses about the game system. He said, it's the same thing, the same buttons. I said, I agree. So then he starts taking this L and he's like, oh, well, it's different buttons and stuff like that. The principle you is. You know what it is? You can never beat the guy with the biggest microphone or who controls the edit. So I'm just going to bow out gracefully <laughs> from this. I'm going to bow out gracefully <laughs> from this. If you came up with a good answer, I'll just Be like, edit, uh, edit that out. <laughs> but AD, is it not true that Dave also beats you at your house? Uh, that is not true. Uh, he 100%. has one before. He has one before amongst the crowd. I think that I think you were there mm -hmm. amongst the crowd. There. It was, you know what it is amongst his peers. I try to make sure he looks good. You know, Ad, I'm I'm starting to garner this high level of respect for you that I didn't know existed. Like That's we got a it. thing going on today. I understand you. You get me, Dave. What's up? Yeah. 
Yeah, both y'all haters. Both I, I, y'all. Think we sh- I think both we should y'all. do a show. We should do... How long are you in town? I leave today. Mm. But you know what? I'm back next week. Let's do a show next week. That's mm. done. Let's done. Done. And done. let's do this. Let's make show, sure the show that we do next week okay. is better than anything we did here today. Oh, that's okay. So Dave's not a part of that. Sabotage right? this episode? No. Yeah, let's tank it. <laughs> <laughs> let's tank it. Forget your story. <laughs> you made your millions. Well, welcome to uh, Social Brew Podcast, guys. Uh, we, we are going to give you some uh, practical conversation around entrepreneurship much needed conversation and this podcast really started because we have these little pockets of Mm -hmm. conversations that are going on i have great conversations with donnie i have great conversations with ad and a lot of other entrepreneurs and most like these conversations should be recorded all the time you know what i mean like because we like it's good information that we just casually have conversations about so we don't really have an agenda and we try to keep this as authentic and organic as possible that is a fact that is a fact and i love i love what i do so much i love what we do so much but i love what i get to do every single day that's beautiful i do i love it so much i love what i get to do every single day because it's in the wheelhouse of what i would be doing if i weren't getting paid for it i love Mm. it yeah yeah i gotta uh oh can we start this conversation right here all right oh i am I'm doing something that's working. It's a hot seat mm-hmm. interview. So I don't know if you've seen any hot seat clips where I have entrepreneur. Is that TV on? Hold on. Um, I have, uh, this ain't the right remote though, I don't think. So I have these conversations with entrepreneurs, right? My objective, yeah, just make sure the music on. My objective is to give information <coughs> and entertain. So okay. a lot of it is me kind of really going at the person across from me, right? Just kind of showing them like the errors in their business or, and a lot of it, I'm searching for something to attack. I have plenty of errors. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah don't we all, right? But the way I'm doing it, if you, if you just take the clip, it's gonna look like, yo, David is a terrible person. <laughs> And I am, I'm getting some, uh, and most of it is like entertainment, but I'm really getting anxiety about it, man. Why? Because in the comment, I, I, I respect so you, the comments. I never read the comments. He's so attached to judgment. Oh, bro. Yeah, I'm not. That, and, and so I read all the comments. Like, I love it. Criticize me. Do it. Say it. Because it makes us better. And it also. Do you think it makes you better? Yeah, it makes some me better. of their comments. Some of it, some of it, because there have been. I'll be honest, there have been a few comments that have made me say, you know what, we need to be aware of that. Like I've called you over yeah. the years and said, hey Dave, I see this comment is recurring, it's negative, but maybe this is something that we should be aware of. And then there are some comments that are just hilarious. Like some of these comments will keep you humble. All right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> some of these comments will keep you humble, um, but I look at the criticism as. Um, one, to identify what people are paying attention to and what they're receiving. Um, Some of it is, it doesn't even get my attention. Like some of it is just ridiculous. And then there are opportunities inside of criticism sometimes to to make changes or to improve something. But I also have really thick skin. So, you didn't fault some people in the comments, though. Oh, I, but I enjoy it. I do it for fun. <laughs> like, you, oh, you want to see me in these comments? Sometimes I will, don't let me check the comments from my desktop and go. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I, but I do it for fun. Sometimes there are people who just have so much audacity that I got to make a little, I got to reserve a little time okay. for sometimes. Okay. And it's just, that's the part of my personality that probably should be worked on. But I love my <laughs> ability to check a bit, check a person. <laughs> and, um, and I don't, I don't think I want to change it. Like somebody would say, don't well, Donnie, change. that is beneath you. It's don't petty ch- of you. It ain't. <laughs> it's right on par with who I am, baby. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I get anxiety though. Because. Yeah, why? Because you want to be liked. Yeah, I do. But, I don't. I don't care. But you know what the thing is? So I really don't. I have a I have a brand that I built, not intentionally like let me build a brand where I'm just a nice person. It's just who I am. But that's what I've been showing. But what I'm doing now is me 
trying to cross over to do something uh, entertaining. It's a good idea that I want to capitalize on, but it's so much pressure, especially, yo, first off, people are like hitting me like, yo, I really need to be in the hot seat. Put me in the hot seat. Put me in the hot seat. And I have friends that are asking too. And I'm like, I really can't. I can't do that to my friends. Put me in the hot seat. Oh coach. no, you can, you can, you can. Can you grill put me, me in the hot seat? No, yeah. everybody says that, but once I really get into it, it's they're gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> they're never coming back. I'm gonna, gonna be ready to throw hands. Away. Yeah, but it's okay. Well, take me to lunch after. It'll yeah, be fine. But what you can't take back things that you say, even if they know going into. I gotta it. hear what you're saying now. Yo, yeah. he be telling people. I don't think it's a good idea. That's never going to work. I be trying to talk them out of their business. You're never going to make money. Huh? I try to Sometimes talk them that's helpful. It is. So that's the thing. If I can talk you out of your idea, uh -huh. right, you'll eventually quit anyway. You know what I mean? Like I For can, sure. Yeah, I, I did. So I put up this clip where, and I had to take it down. So I was you talking. You took it down? Yeah, 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 yeah. That it is just, weak. So... I'm not gonna say the <laughs> no, this is the hot seat. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> man. But this is no. Nah, I, I would have never took it down. So, so uh, not her name, but I put it put her in the hot seat. Who was it? I, it was just it was a person, but the person is close to me. But they were in the hot seat. It was Kay. No, 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 no. You asked. So, <clears throat> So she'll be walking around his office. He will office. flame you, Kay. Don't do it. We <laughs> want you here. We want you here. <laughs> but it was a clip about um, her wanting to not have sex before marriage. Aw, Yanni. Well, not, yeah, she doesn't. And I, I don't, she wanted what? She never said, like, I'm a virgin Not or to have sex? Yeah, not to have sex before marriage. That's a terrible idea. Wait a minute. <laughs> First of all, I saw that clip and I thought it was awesome. <laughs> Me too. Yo, I was in the bed with Dre and putting it together. she's awesome. She is amazing. She is amazing and she really meant... So let me say this about Yanni. Um, Why'd you say oh, it? Yeah, okay. All right. She did the, the... You took the whole episode down? Uh, just a, Well, I took the clip down. Then I took, I did take the whole episode put down. The episode like, put the episode back. Let me tell you, Yanni, if you're watching this, stay committed to your belief because you would look at a person like Yanni. Yanni, fine. All right. Your girl body is body and she out here crushing it. All right. She's beautiful. She's smart. She's so intelligent. And I see the young guys when she's in spaces with us, like looking at her. She's very committed to her belief yeah. and she deserves to be able. Like, I thought that conversation that y'all had was so important because there are other 21, 19, 18, 23 year olds that are convicted in their faith but they're afraid to say it because it doesn't look cool. Yeah. And she sat in that hot seat and was like, no, this is, I mean it. Right, but then the comments, everybody's like, why are you trying to talk her out of not having sex? And like, I'm like, yeah, I, it was just a, I'm trying to challenge her because I think she said something like, no, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be uh, consistent. She and did. I was like, well, a lot of other 20 year olds have said that too. And I'm like, yo, you're, th you're sitting there saying that you're going to hold on to this special thing that you have until you're married until you find somebody that you really love and your emotions might change. No, so what's going to happen? Okay, go on. That I'm, I'm saying all of the possibilities. So maybe when it comes that time, she thinks, she hears my voice and says, yo, well, not my voice during that situation, but you hear, <laughs> you, think, you think, yo, Jesus. this is another one of those tests. But the clip suggests that I'm trying to talk her out of that. And that wasn't my... Say what you were going to say real quick, A.D. I have a thought, though. You know what? I, I You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think the virgin thing works. I just don't. Until you're married, I don't, I don't think it works. Some people have done it. But uh, have you? I haven't, but some people have done it. Nobody's on this panel has done it. Nobody, <laughs> nope. You know what? I'm, you know what I'm, you know I'm going to say? Nobody in this room has done it. So, so I'm gonna go out and say that. So, <laughs> if you have, raise your hand. If you have huh? done what exactly? We got one person. This couple oh, was oh. abstaining from sex, yeah. but y'all no, 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 not abstaining from sex. We say I thought she a was virgin. abstaining a virgin until they get married. Now that's that's a far feat. I don't think people are actually going to be able to, I to do that. I agree with. Um, I understand spiritually and even religiously why people make that decision. But let me just assure you that sex is more important than you think. And um, I personally feel like you should know what that's like going in Absolutely. to a situation. I have, um, 
I, re- I got a phone call. I was hanging out with some friends the other day, and I got a call from a friend who's experiencing that very same situation, and they've been experiencing, like, an issue with sex, like, their whole relationship, but he, they're, they're engaged to be married. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I, don't, I don't understand. No, she's saying basically you need that to person know. is not having a great sexual experience oh, with so their they current waited. partner, and they're about to get married, and the, now the girl is getting cold feet because she's saying, "I yeah. don't know about this one." Yeah, and that's she's what like, happens. Can you like, imagine marrying somebody and you're, you know, six months in and be like, "I don't know about this one. This one ain't doing it for me." That's that's not. I don't think that's a great idea. But she doesn't know yet. Oh, she knows. Oh, so, so they That's waited why, for a while and they, they found out. If they got married first and then she found out that the sex was awful, like they're completely disconnected during sex. Mm. My question is, would you have divorced him? Would you have cheated on him? Yeah. She not going to get married. I don't know. Maybe Listen, man, but, there's, there are things more important than sex. There are things more important than sex. In a relationship sex is, between is you and another person, I don't believe that to be true. I think that's one of the most important things. Sheesh. That kind of connection right there is, is extremely important. I think intimacy important. is more important than sex. Sex is an intimacy? Sex is a variation of being intimate, but also like us laying on the sofa and... Touching each other, you know, rubbing, what a kissing, all those things are in, like intimacy. Yeah, I think is, it's definitely a part of it, for sure. <laughs> Jesus Christ, AD. I mean, I thought we were telling the truth on this show. We are, <laughs> we are absolutely telling the truth. Oh, okay, for well, sure. that was my truth. Yeah, However, so here's, here's, well, I think everybody uh, has a different truth. Yes, bringing yes, it back away from that, back, I have. Yes. To, I wanted to say this though. I think that we need to. Um, I've been thinking a lot about our clips. Mm-hmm. And I think that we need to really sit down and reframe work our clips. Okay. I think that our clips are getting exposure for the wrong reason. And we need to make sure that, yes, it's a teaser and yes, it's dope. But in that teaser, it still needs to represent what social proof is. What do you, what, what clips? What full transparency is. Outside of. What, give me an example. I don't understand. Well, just like the hot seat conversation, the clip yeah, that but, dropped, I'm sure yeah. there was much more depth to that episode than yeah. you drilling her about being a virgin. Right. But that, but so on that one, yes, it's super, it, it doesn't, it doesn't represent the typical social proof brand, but I'm talking about, do you have any issues with other clips you're saying? Oh yeah. Our clips all the time make me look terrible. <laughs> you don't even like the thumbnail sometimes. Reese. So we can't really. Because they That's give be me hard to please you, Dottie. Like <laughs> first of okay, so they get the most flattering photo of David. I'm just a, <laughs> I'm a flattering and then they pull, photographer. And then person. they pull me when I'm that. like <laughs> Stop that's, playing with me. Like, so that's funny. make the playing ground even. There, you, you just what happened was you did the the thumbnail at the last minute, and you didn't feel like going through the episode to get a nice looking thumbnail, right? So yes, I do have issue with the thumbnail sometimes, but that's minor. I think though some of our recaps could focus a little bit more and making sure people still understand that this is an entrepreneurship podcast, mm-hmm. and we should like. I want the guest to to be able to, and, and in our case, me and you, but I also want the guest to be able to leverage the recap and feel good about putting it out into their audience. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And so um, I'm not going to say any names. I will, um, but let's just, you know, pull yeah. some of the value um, out of the episode and put it into the recap. Yeah. Otherwise, you feel like you. Yeah, but you know what you could do? Hmm. You could come in, cut a few of your own, and see how well they do compared to what they're putting out, and then find out what's the real, what's really going on. Well, the the salaciousness, the stuff that is grimy and whatever, right? That's always going to outperform the other stuff. But my mindset is, we capture all of this attention for people who want the T or people who want to hear a grown man drill a young girl about sex. And that's not even our audience, right? You're attacking me though, man. Yeah, but that's not even our audience. So the people whose attention that captured, they'll never subscribe to social proof. Yeah. So instead, let's just focus on recaps that are appealing to our audience. Okay. 
I'm with it. I mean, I'm always with uh, adjustments, man. But y'all still not helping me with my problem. Your problem is, and we've talked about this, um, you you have an issue being judged. You don't like... You don't like for a group of people to say bad things about the David, the Shans. And it is something that you are going to probably have to just work on over time. It's not a solvable issue. People are going to judge. But if they are not judging you, you're not doing anything different. That's true. That's true. As I pivot to this different thing, it's it's a lot. It, man, it's it's rough, man. And I was just thinking, like, because she asked me, he said, which one you want to release? I'm like... None of them. Uh, none of them, man. <laughs> because I'm, I, I'm trying to do something different, but I, but it, in their defense, people who don't like it, it, it's not the typical me. You know what I mean? And if you just, I think branding is important. So if that's someone's first, I think oh, it's okay to have different layers. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're calling it the hot seat and it's a different kind of a. A, a branch off from social proof yeah. where you guys are going after the person and kind of really going after their ideas and challenging them. I think that's cool. People yeah. would expect the hot seat from me, not from David. A hundred percent. For sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I, I think I'm, um, and, and, and I think the only reason if I were to not do it is because even outside of the comments, even when I'm talking to somebody, I can feel that they feel something and that's right. That's, that's, that's the objective, right? I want, no one's going to tell you uh, like the harsh truths and have you reflect. So after I did one of the episodes, the young lady, she sat in the lobby and she was just, and she was like, yo, can I just sit here for a minute? And she had Damn. a notepad. <laughs> I gotta yeah, see she, this. Yeah, but the was, thing is like the people who are coming on to the hot seat are coming on um, fully aware of what these episodes entail right mm -hmm. the direction that these conversations can go in and there is a part of that person that when they speak up they're saying I need somebody to be that raw with me because everybody else around me sugarcoats what I have going on and they need to be connected to this feeling like at the end of the day there's something positive that comes out of the hot seat episode the more important thing I wouldn't be worried about them because they volunteered for the hot seat and they yeah. know what the hot seat is. I'd be worried about you. Like, do you feel good about what you're doing on the hot seat? Mm, sometime. Sometime. Um, yeah, come on in. Not all the time. Do you sometime. feel good about what you're doing? You go ahead real quick. Come on. Um, do you good? Um, we just gave you all your flowers yeah, and here you are. Yeah, we just gave you some flowers, yeah. So mm -hmm. y'all can sit over there if y'all yeah, do you feel good? And if you don't, if, if there's a portion of it that feels good to you, then the other portion of it, ask yourself how you can do it differently. How can I do that other portion differently? Right? Zell, grab me the mic, bro. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. No, it's all good. He's like, yeah. All right. <laughs> Zell, what are you even responding Yo, to? Yo, you don't ever worry about what people think about you, AD? No. A little bit. No. You've never worried about what other people think about you? No. Yo, AD is the most I don't give a you know what person I, I have met. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, you can't curse on the Y'all got to tell me you can't oh, we'll, curse on the listen, show. Listen, we'll beep it out. I want you to be yourself. Just okay? be yourself. Okay, no, yeah. I don't, I don't care. But what, because, there's I'm not, nothing inside of you that says, yo, these people are looking at me a certain way. And I don't like that. I think what it is for me is that I think in life, ultimately, I have to be happy. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to make everyone else happy. And even in a relationship, when it comes to relationships, I'm like, I Pretty tell much. whoever I'm dating, I'm going to be exactly me. So therefore, you can realize if you hate me or you like me. That's it. That's I'm not, I'm not, I don't, everybody, everybody put on their pretend self. I, 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 don't, I don't have one. Do y'all got some little percent? Do y'all care at all? Just here. I think people do care. Y'all care? Y'all don't care at all? No. Dang. I, I, I only care what certain people think of me. Mm -hmm. 
general populate like if I really believe in what I'm doing if I'm being me and I really believe in what I said I stand on my stuff like even if what I said was out of pocket if I believe that out of pocket was necessary at that time I stand on it but if I say something that if I do or say something that I even feel a way about Mm -hmm. and then there are people who are commenting and they feel a way about it too or forget the comments like people just in my life that also feel that way then that kind of critique or feedback weighs heavily on me. The general population of people who don't know me, like I care about the people that I impact and what mm-hmm. they think of me. The yeah. people who will never subscribe to us, buy from us, be coached or mentored by us. You're not inspired by us. You don't like us. I don't care what you think at all. Period. But do you want to, I just, I don't know how people can, I don't know. I just, I just, I never cared about being liked. I don't, I don't even get it. <laughs> like, you don't get it. I promise I don't get it at Are all. you like, do you have friends? I have a few. I have a few. Yo, you, have you ever had to apologize for something that you did to somebody? No. Really? Because it came from a good place. AD. It came from a good place. Uh, what do you mean? Like, what, cheated on them or something No, like that? no, it's like... Something happened or you said something to somebody. (laughs) I was helping my cousin with the groceries. (laughs) Those were all accidents? No, I was just joking. So you don't care and you're a cheater too? No, I didn't say I was a cheater. It was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. (laughs) That part, part, I I didn't mean that part. No, I was just joking. No, but I I mean, I don't think that you can care about other. I think you have to be you all the way. Gotcha. Then you can find out who's really there for you. Who's really your friend? Who's really trying to be around you? Yeah. And you know I, what I mean? He raises a good point. I think sometimes when we are, when we're so worried about judgment, maybe it's a security issue of, am I secure with who I am? Because if you're super secure in who you are, you stand on it. I think I'm secure in who I am. So Johnny, we were just talking about that, uh, that clip that I posted, that I took it down. And I, w- I went to sleep and I woke up and here's what set, set it off. This girl posted in her story. She said, uh, don't let anybody talk you out of what you believe or something like that. <laughs> and she was like, here we got this grown married man uh, telling a young girl not to not have sex. It's disgusting. And I'm like, it wasn't. It didn't come from a bed. Like a bad place. Right. You know what I mean? So this is the purpose of it. This is the purpose of, like, it has to be more engaging. Right? Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. So, I don't so know. I'll be honest with but you. But did you when believe I, that? Mm-hmm. Do I believe what? What you told her. Yeah, I believe her. I, 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 no, I, no. I, do you believe what? I be, yes, do I do Do you believe, believe that you were giving her good advice from your heart? Yes. And I would have kept it up. A hundred percent. I would have kept it up, but I will say that when I initially saw it, I had to watch it twice. Mm -hmm. And my initial thought was this was a terrible clip to choose from the episode just because that particular conversation needed context. Right. Um, Because you are a married man. You are older than her. She could be your niece or whatever. And so from we know the vari- the virality, the, the ability that it goes for it to go viral. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows your backstory, her backstory and yeah. all this stuff. So I thought it was. But at the same time, you know, the most salacious clip wins and goes viral. Yeah. And what do we say from that? So I get it. And you have to understand that when you choose to put people in the hot seat, there are going to be people who critique you for being wrong, for being mean, for being an asshole. Like they're going to call you all kinds of stuff. But you have to understand as the host and creator of that segment, that's what's going to come with the territory. I have created a segment where the audience, sometimes you may not even like me. For sure. I think even in the clip, though, it wasn't like I was telling her not to. I'm saying it's going to be hard. You're going to fall in love with somebody and the rules start to change. Yeah, you were just challenging. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You were pushing back. But at the same time, I thought the conversation that was had in the episode, which is what I said here before you walked in, um, I love how you stood your ground. Mm-hmm. I love how you stood on yep. your belief. And in your age group, I think sex is thrown so loosely into the conversation that other young ladies who feel like you and either even young men who feel like you, they are afraid to say, no, I was raised differently or I believe differently and I don't want to have sex until I marry. You have the right to change your mind if that's what you do in the future. But today, Yanni 
ain't popping. She's not having sex. <laughs> yes, on the share. Um, Is the mic on? Okay. Um, at first, I I didn't really see like a problem with it because I know you were just challenging me. Mm. Like I didn't think nothing because I know you and I know like you move with integrity and stuff like that. Um, so I didn't think it was weird, but just I just didn't like the fact that like people were giving their two cents on what I'm doing, mm. you know. And then like the I had like men following me, and I'm just like, this is just weird. And so, oh wow, yeah, I'm just like, I don't want this up no more. Gotcha, JD, you were in the hot oh, seat. You wanted it down too, huh? You wanted it yeah. down, okay? Yeah. So she, so she texts me, and I, and I just saw it when I woke up. So I just took it down. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know why. Okay. I was just I. Yanni doesn't like it. Cool, I'll take it down. No problem. Could it have been that, do you feel like men were following you to be mean? Or do you feel like men were following you because it was like, wow, I respect a woman like that. I could be interested. Um, It could be both. I honestly didn't put that much thought into it. Mm-hmm. I just didn't. I just thought it was weird that they were. That was the clip they wanted. Would you agree that you volunteered yourself for something and you didn't understand where it was going to go after the hot seat itself mm-hmm. or that topic? The hot seat. Um, yeah, it was kind of like an in the moment thing, and it was new. Like it, too many people haven't been on it yet. So. Yeah, she was one of the first ones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jada, you were in the hot seat. Mm-hmm. What was the experience like? Uh, I was nervous. At the beginning, like the first 15 minutes or so, I was really nervous. But then after that, I felt more comfortable. Gotcha. Um, At the end, though, how did you feel? I felt like we got to a resolution. I start, I've been putting stuff together as far as like how to start closing down my uh, sewing company. So that was the resolution. Yeah, I told her to quit something. Yeah. She quit it. <laughs> We've been telling Jada that for... A hundred percent. Y'all really listen, girl. Y'all told me, you don't listen. Y'all told me I need to make some more money. You do. So I started, I created but we said you had to, to focus. Yes. Not go create a whole new thing. Yes, exactly. So yeah. I just said that the other day. I said, I'm hard headed. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's crazy. But people can take it because, especially because if they were men, um, it wouldn't have been that bad. But they're so sweet. And so soft and so like innocent that even I think our episode, like I think I'm gonna get some backlash on that. On Jada's episode, yeah, because I was because Jada's just too nice for you to be. She's so oh my gosh, she talks like that. So now it looks like this bully is attacking this sweet child. (laughs) You know what I mean? So I don't know. I think I think think it's a hit though. Well, I was gonna say I don't think you were too hard though. Yeah. Like, I feel like even when you were saying the thing about I was a bad teacher, I feel like I was still standing my ground. So, <laughs> <She> <laughs> yeah. Did. Were you offended was... at all during the episode? No, because I know I'm a good teacher. Did you want to fight him at all during the episode? <laughs> no, I, I think at one point I was like, I think we just see it completely differently. Because I was like, I Did see you want to my... flip all of this stuff over <laughs> at any time during the episode? No. Did the episode, oh, did the conversation help you? Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. I think sure. it was good. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. But you still wanted it down. Not that. Well, well it's just a clip. The, yeah, the clip. it's just a clip. But give her the mic. Give her the mic. Give her the mic. Oh. It was the clip I wanted down, but I'll say the hot seat itself. I like that he was challenging me and what I believed. So you still believe that the information in the whole episode should be heard. You just didn't like, like the clip. Like that clip, yeah. Put the episode back up. Just put it back up. The I took the whole thing down. Imp- and I didn't even. The conversation was important and it's necessary. Mm-hmm. And I admire you. As a woman who did not wait until marriage to have sex. I mean, I ain't married yet, okay? (laughs) I admire your conviction and what you believe in. And you stay firm and true to what you believe in. But people should hear that if you're comfortable communicating it. For sure. What's up? Get the the mic real quick. Reese has a question. This got to be good because Reese don't never say nothing on the podcast. So did you feel the same way when Olivia got on and everybody was attacking her? Nah, uh... I feel I feel bad when the person feels bad. <laughs> so after it's over, after it's over, I'm like, cool. And, but if if I see too many like negative comments, even towards the person, I'm like, Dad. you read all the Yo, comments. Dang, I, I used to not. I used to not read the comments, bro. But 
somewhere along the way, man. Let me be clear on some a couple of things. They be going ham on me Do they? on some of the on some of the clips that you be posting. I no, you don't be clips? deleting none of them. You don't be feeling bad. You don't <laughs> no, block no, no, no. these I'm, people. Well, I, I'm talking about like YouTube. I, yo, first off, I delete a lot of stuff that people say about you on the YouTube. You do what? Oh, I don't be. I want to see it. They be on you. <laughs> <laughs> be on me I mean the difference it okay we won't even go there but you don't feel bad when they're attacking me I do that's so, why I delete some of the comments but is the, no that's and on not, Instagram I delete the comments you don't be deleting the comments I promise you Yo, I do. People be now somebody slip through in. but I, I do, do they if I catch you? it um, they say all kinds of stuff they'll say people will say I'm not pretty people will say she thinks she knows it all people are like she be talking about a bunch of nothing People, they say all kinds of stuff. Like oh, they, wow. they feel like, so because I am a woman, a black woman specifically with a very strong personality, as gentle as I am on a personal level, the audience, like that's just not the person that you need to see here because you need to respect me as an, as an authority in the business world. Right. So you see the very professional focused Donnie and semi-professional because we don't dress professional. What I guess this is our new professional. Mm-hmm. Um, and so people, because whenever you're a black woman specifically and a strong black woman, right. And I don't shy away from that. I am a woman of strength. Um, black men, especially, and I hate saying this because I'm never a us against them, but that's who be in the comments. It's always black men in the comments trying to find the angle to tear me down and make me feel it. They want me to respond. They want me to acknowledge it. And that's why, like, I get invited on podcasts all the time. Um, I'm doing Harley Initiated's podcast later today. And I told them, don't put me in a conversation where it's a woman, a, a woman against man war. I'm not an advocate of that. Like, we love each other. We come together. So when I see it, it's so like, mm. Why? Why is that necessary? Why is this the conversation? Why is this what you want to pick out of all of this game that I just dropped on the episode? You want to come here and say, oh, she ain't bad enough. She ain't this enough. She ain't that enough. I bet she's single because of X, Y, and Z. Take notes and go make some money. Yeah. Yeah. I I think it's just, it's just hard in in this day and age, especially just building a personal brand because everybody has something to say about something. But that's the reason why health space. So it ain't, you probably don't experience that. Listen, because everyone has something it's to say. It's easier for you, though, because you're in health. Like, right. you help people get healthy. Right. Who's going to say something about that? People but, will say stuff. No, like, people, people say stuff. Like what? It didn't work for me. Mm. I get that a lot. I be, They tell me it didn't work for them. I'll be like, trust me. We've been here for a very long time. It works. Yeah. What were you doing on your cleanse? People aren't honest with themselves. Mm. And then you know what I've noticed because Doctor um, Doctor Holistic was on was one of my clients, mm-hmm. and you'll notice that a lot of people who say things don't work are people who never tried your product. You just want oh. to come in, and that's what I mean. <laughs> like, why, yeah. why, why are we doing this to each other? Like, why yeah. do we spend our time? To, it didn't work. This stuff don't work. No, did you even try it? Right. Yeah. Or you'll say something like, um, like I like to respond and be like, send me your email address so I can take a look. Right. Yeah. Because I even get people um, who will say things like, especially on full transparency, sometimes like she thinks she know it all, but her course don't work. I will reach out to you directly. Send me your email address. Let me look up your account. Yeah. There isn't one. Right. You've never even, you don't even know what's in the program. Right. right? And so you got to also consider that sometimes people are given feedback. Like think about yourself. Sometimes when you see a post online, we go straight to the comments. We want to see what they're saying in the comments. And sometimes before you've watched the whole video or the whole clip, you've already judged what you're about to look at based on everybody else's comments. Right. right? And it's just, um, it's just something. So you got to consider too, that a lot of the people who are leaving negative feedback are just uninformed. Yeah. And they want to um, people. People are really excited to find someone else to critique and tear down who are not doing anything great. And that's why I said qualified critique matters to me. Yeah, I think I think it's a good uh, way that we can start a conversation on how do you manage criticism as you're building your business. How do you manage it now? 
I don't know if you can answer this, AD, because it seems like you have a heart of stone when it comes to this. Do you but love if anybody? You're, if you're gonna, like, do you feel love in I your love heart? Love my mother. You love your mother. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just making. But it as an entrepreneur, right? So right. somebody has something that they're doing, and they're receiving heavy criticism from it, or they just people just ain't feeling it. Mm -hmm. What type of advice would you give that person? Is it working? Are you making money? Are people, you know, if it's a health product, are people getting healthier? I would dwell on those things opposed to the negative. I don't really, I don't really pay attention to the negative. I pay attention to the people that are actually benefiting from the product. And if people aren't benefiting from the product, then maybe the negative is correct. Yeah. Then I might slightly, look, I was like, you know what? I ain't got a great review in, you know, the last six months uh, on this product. Maybe we need to look at it again. Maybe I need to look, go back and look at the comments. Maybe yeah. I need to go back and review certain things. But until then, if I'm getting people that's having great experiences with things that I've created, then I just keep moving forward. I don't think you can really listen. Unfortunately, and fortunately, we're in a world where everybody has an opinion and everybody get a chance to express their opinion now on social media. And unfortunately, it's good and bad because of that. Yeah. So you got So you just got to take it how you take it. Yeah. I just keep moving. Is the feedback valid? And so when you're finding yourself in that hot seat of public criticism. People always say, so David, you need to be. I be in a hot seat every day, y'all. Y'all <laughs> cooking me every day. Is it valid? Mm -hmm. And if it's invalid... Keep it moving. Yeah. If it's valid, do some reflection. How do you determine whether it's valid or not? Well, you know, if someone says you're this, 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 and this, like ask yourself, is this true about me? But hasn't, so hasn't there been people who they're consistently criticized? Or let's say, for instance, the guy who started Kentucky Fried Chicken. How many attempts was it? Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders. How many? How many? It was like a, an an insane amount of attempts, hundreds. right? And then they say nope, 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 and eventually it works. We can't. We can't say. Well, we got a. They got a big sample size. The the stats show that the thing that you're trying to do, mm -hmm. nobody's feeling. Mm -hmm. But it only took one person. But at what point do you stop? Twenty. Yeah. 30 negative comments, 100. Mm -hmm. When do you stop? Mm -hmm. for, or when do you change it? For Kentucky Fried Chicken, he was going to people for money, right? And they were saying no? I don't know the story. I just oh, remember okay. the story. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I was like. It was like the recipe. He wasn't filling the re recipe or something like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Somebody get the answers for me. Somebody look on there. <laughs> but so sometimes it does take people to say you're crazy. If you let here's the thing, if you let public opinion decide what you're supposed to be doing next, you shouldn't do anything next. If you're letting public opinion, right? But sometimes it just takes that that one breakthrough, doing something over and over again. I'm sure people hated Kevin Samuel's first video and the second and the third. And God. They hated all of them. I but eventually, telling the truth. I'm hey, telling y'all right let's now. Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He wasn't telling the truth. Move on. Uh, I, I, I take it you AD, didn't agree. I do you not didn't want agree with to, him. I do not want to. I throw you are an honest him. person. You do not think that he was telling everyone the I truth. Believe, no, everyone. I don't speak in absolutes. He wasn't telling most people the truth. But I do think that there wow. were there were some occasions in which he was truthful. And then when I dug back, like to look at him and where this started, the advice that he used to give was better than the advice that he went viral for. And so for me, mm. the reason that like he he started giving men advice, like, you he know, did. how to dress well that's and true. how to treat women well and how to be in relationships. That's that's, wow. that's where he started. But the moment he critiqued a woman and that went viral, he's like, oh, I see what the people want. So he hold on. Okay. He created a brand out of that. And for me, if that's truly how you feel, right, then I respect your feelings, whatever. We don't have to agree. But if it's how you feel because you recognize that this is an income opportunity, because you recognize that this has the ability to go viral, I can't respect that. Like, so I don't know what his approach was. Well, the way he died was, proved was, that what he was talking was some bull crap. I don't, I don't even 
I'm not going to even <laughs> dive into that. The only thing that I would say is this, that basically he was trying to say, okay, if you're, you want this guy to be this height, to make this amount of money, therefore it puts you in a certain percentile, which is absolutely true. Yeah, and a lot of times true. it was in the less than 1%. Yeah, that's so true. Then, so I, I don't think it's bad for him to say is, okay, for you, where do you fall in that 100 percentile? Mm -hmm. Are you in the top 1 percent? So therefore, you have something that equals up. There's nothing wrong with no, that. No, there's nothing that, wrong. That is absolutely true. There's nothing wrong with data and analytics, for right. sure. Right. But there is something wrong with saying, what makes you think your fat ass is going to get one of those 1 percenters? Yeah, he did. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He did uh, say his one girl is built like a linebacker. And I didn't know what he was But, so, yeah, listen, but, but hey, no, but, but listen. And I felt bad even when I first heard it. Okay, but listen. Bad. Listen, we have to be honest. <laughs> listen, I'm telling you guys, you guys are not being honest. I'm completely honest. And therefore, he's saying, look, if you're overweight, you're not going to be in the top 1%. And that's is fucking true. But maybe so it period, is. So period, end of discussion, if you are 200 something pounds and you 5'6", you're not going to be in the top 1%. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Yeah, but I'm you're trying sure. to date the guy who's in the top 1%. Right, but it what makes result? makes perfect sense. What result are we trying to get at the end of the day? The result, are we, is, mm -hmm. the, the result is to tell that particular woman, hey, you might be overreaching on what you think you require. So but maybe there's a way to communicate that's okay. that. Right. Right, so and that's but, but, okay. It's okay for her to dream. She's just not going to ever get married. That's fine. And that's fine. There are and people, that's fine. There are people who dream to become millionaires we have to that be are approaching honest. it the wrong way. And guess what? And there are people who dream to be millionaires, but somebody got to fucking work at McDonald's, you guys. Period. End of discussion. So therefore, what I'm saying is life is a damn competition. I love and unless this, you're man. I competing, love this man. Unless you're competing, it's not going to happen. And being 200 pounds, you're not competing. And not learning about your business, you're not competing. Not getting out there doing the work, you're not competing. Period. I love so it. So put yourself in the top 1% and you'll get 1% results. Yeah. That's yeah. it. So I guess so I, when, love, I agree with yeah. every single thing that you just then, said. Then why didn't you like that man? That because that's not. Then why you didn't like that man? That man was telling everybody the that, truth. I just said I didn't like him. I, I respect. Okay, then this. say I, what you feel. Since so you want everybody so, to like you, yes. and we know that about you. Yes. So did you like him or not? I liked him. Okay, that's what you but, agree but, with but, him? talking about. But Let's go. Did you agree with him? I didn't like did what you he was saying. Didn't like his manner on the way he went about it. Did but he you told agree those women with the truth. him, David? Shane, <laughs> did you agree with the way that Kevin Samuels treated or spoke to women? No. Why? Because you wanted because to be nice. No, 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 you no, 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 no. To feel okay, good. okay. Can I, can I explain Life it? Life ain't fucking nice, let me, you guys. Let me Life explain. ain't nice. Life ain't nice. People die. People get upset. Businesses fail. People get in car accidents. Love Life me. ain't nice. And guess what? Bills don't stop. Mm -hmm. Period. Life ain't nice. Bills don't stop. So what you gonna do? You gonna get up and fight every day? That's it. Yeah. And if you ain't fighting, you losing. Period. So, and I'm here to win. Yes, I'm here to win. One hundred percent. Here's here's the reason I liked Kevin Samuels. I like Kevin Samuels because I could tell that that was him. It wasn't like he was saying it and laugh or snicker. He was super serious about stuff. I like you, Ad, because you are gonna say what you feel. You're not Absolutely. holding it back, and I and I respect that. Right. right. Kevin Samuels I, needed to come out the closet. I'm what sorry. What I say, and to, he was not himself. Like Kevin he died Samuels with a woman, and you want him to come out the closet he, because you can go both ways. Yeah, but he died That's with the really, exact type know. of woman that he spoke negatively about. On his lives and on his, but, but that's my, here's, here's my here's my question. Here's here's my thing. The reason I liked him is because I'm looking at it from a content creation perspective, right? He knew how to shape a conversation, not only the things that he says, but his body language. Do you think how that he was it. not telling the truth? Oh, Do you think that his the advice truth is subjective? I believe. 
Right. It is. I think that there were so pockets. So you 200 something pounds, you going to marry a gazillionaire. Yes. Yes. There uh, are, yes. What? There are men who love that is not overweight true. women. You guys are dreaming. That is not true. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, yeah. No, are you, not. Show, you can't show yeah, me that one. Is not, that is not. Now, are let you me tell you something. You can't show me one wealthy now, man that's not married to an overweight woman? Listen to what I'm saying. Now, if they grew that business together, she deserved to be there. Mm -hmm. She supported him, supported the family, did all those things. But I'm talking about somebody that's rich mm -hmm. already. When people entering into that world, they not come in but shape like that. that. And it's that not true. Every we have to woman tell that he spoke to was not aiming for a rich man. They put their standards no, out there of what he they wanted. The first thing, he always qualified these women of what they were searching for. Yes. At least from the videos I saw. Okay, you're looking for this height. Okay, you want to make, want him to make 150,000. 150,000, believe it or not, which ain't a a lot of money, mm -hmm. that means you're in the top 5%. And then when, someone, in the would question, States, that's ridiculous. And then when no. someone would question him, he just disconnects them. He hangs up on them. He, no, that's not true. That well, Oh my God, he, get off he my does, life. He does get hang, off my life. He does hang up on certain people right, if they're yeah. absolutely ridiculous. That's not. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's cool. See, that's my friend. That's my guy. Yeah. See, that's my friend. <laughs> Yo, but, you, but you're speaking from your own preference or 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 and i can see we where definitely have a weight class where if there, that's what you say there, there could <laughs> we be, do there, there could be a majority who we? huh who's we hold on the hold world. on there could there could be a majority of people especially where you live mm -hmm. you're in la i am in there, la there are people that are more connected Johnny, you can always let me have it. I, I yeah. appreciate it. Here's Don't a, even hold back. I know we friends. We go eat dinner after this. We ain't tripping. Can listen, we? Not, there, are we going to eat after this? Uh, there we can. Are, okay. Listen, okay. guys. Can. There are some people that are connected <laughs> to the person. This is me trying to save my own brand. There are people that are connected <laughs> to what's inside. <laughs> That's what's inside. Okay, because they're going to like me on this one. There are people that are connected to the people that are inside, not what's outside. And, 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 let's, I'm going to be honest with you. If so I you weren't was, honest before with the outside, no, I'm inside? Just, no, I'm about to be more honest. Okay. I'm about to be more honest <laughs> right, right now. Let's go. And there's going to be some people that can relate to this. Or a, a woman that deems themselves super attractive. You ever seen them end up with someone that's not super rich and they're not super aesthetically attractive, but that's what they like? Because they've been through these situations with these ideal men that look good and everybody's on them. And they keep doing them wrong, doing them dirty, doing them wrong, doing them dirty. And then they find, yo, you know what? I don't want to keep doing that. I want to find somebody who likes me for me. And I'm putting too much weight on, no pun intended, too much weight on <laughs> the outside, the outside aesthetic, all that stuff. But I want somebody that makes me feel good. So eventually. I feel sorry for that person. Why? I do. The reason why I feel sorry for them because that's not what they truly wanted in life. I think I believe in life. You should chase what you're after. Listen, I believe, I, be that. I believe in the big girl that wants the guy that's a millionaire. I don't think it's gonna f happen ever. But I believe. Are you saying but I'm ever, happy. AD? Huh? Are you saying one hundred? It's not gonna happen. One hundred percent of the time. One hundred percent. I'm gonna say one hundred percent is not gonna happen. Kevin, now I'm not talking. Listen, about, I'm not talking I mean, about the. AD. I'm, I'm telling you, it's My not bad. gonna that's happen. That's crazy. No, listen, it's not gonna happen. That's crazy. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not. Okay, let me ask you this. Go On the polar it. opposite, the broke, unattractive guy, mm -hmm. is he going to get the supermodel rich girl? Is he going to get the supermodel rich girl? Mm -hmm. If she lets down her standards, she is. Oh, so there's an if there. <laughs> yeah. But the man, there know, is man. no if. Men are really certain about what they want out of life. I know a lot of what? men who are settling huh? today. Oh, I don't know anybody. I don't know. Oh, I know. I don't a know bunch anybody that's settled. You're in a you, listen. You that's are why in your cheating. own bubble. Huh? That's why most men they are did. cheating. That's why most of the men who are cheating. Women cheat. Yes, because at some point, for many of them, not all of them, but for at some point, you look at this person and say, "I really around and settled." Hey guys, and now real I want to go and seek what like men go and seek what they really, really, really want. In the other woman. Hey guys, real quick. It might be some truth can we, to that. Can we help entrepreneurs now? Yeah, we can do that. Did you say that there's some truth to that? I think there's some there truth to that. There is some truth to that. I think, to I that. Think, oh, I agree. Gosh. And men and women really, really, when they go out and cheat, <laughs> oh, they are gosh. cheating with the ideal man. We just regardless into a, of who we just they're married into a to. Podcast. I don't think they're cheating with the ideal man. I think they're going to chase something that they're not getting from home. Exactly. But that's ideal, right? And this conversation is important in entrepreneurship because people need to know that we 
think like them. We experience the same things that they experience. And especially as entrepreneurs, like you need to know to be convicted in your faith. Like Yanni, you need to know that according to AD, uh, this wealthy man is not interested in you to, in you if you're above what weight class. You already really want to know? Yeah. No, no, I, do. I don't. I no. want to know. I don't no, go past man. 140. I don't want to know. You don't go past 140. I've never been so, past 140. So, ladies, I will, put the camera on me real quick. I am too thick for AD. 100%. If you are thicker than me, stop looking at this man right now. All Absolutely. right? This is, this is not your guy, okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Stop looking at this okay, man. Okay, real quick, real quick. It's important. How has this... Uh, I thank you for trying mm. to, rather, to bring it back. How has this mindset helped you in business? What? Who you are in terms of your, yo, cause you do speak in absolutes, which again, I don't either because there's always a variable. You just did. Yeah. But when always a variable, there's, well, there's often, always, there's there always, is a always a variable. Yeah, that is a correct Donnie, absolute, not absolute. You. but it is an absolute. My friend. Yep. There's we hear. An we, absolute. Huh? We are here. There's always a variable. I just, if you don't believe it, you can't achieve it. Yeah. Period. I believe 100%. Yeah. Uh, I, everything I do. I was like. Have you ever been married? No. See? Mm -mm. Hmm. Do mm. you desire to? Of course. I would love huh. kids. I, I, I would love, I, I would love one kid. But I, the I, reason why I haven't been married, and, and to be honest, I think it's been a mistake of mine. I, we were just sitting around, um, Ryan, Ryan Cameron. I was having lunch with him, a radio host, and out mm -hmm. in he's huge. Here. Yeah, yeah, out here. I was just sitting with him yesterday, and I was. I think it's a mistake the way I did it because I always felt like I had to go get rich first. But then what happens when you get rich? And you know, you guys know what this is like now. What you know now about. you. I don't know nothing about what you're talking about, bro. I'm looking around. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking don't around. Don't put me listen, in you, whatever listen. category you got going on over no, there. No, listen, okay? listen. What happens when you get rich and you got stuff, now you start trying to protect this stuff. Yeah. And now you now the stuff is the thing that prevents you from the relationship and you're, thinking you're supposed about to get. And you're thinking about all this stuff and it's just really messed up. I wish I would have did it a whole lot younger and got married and grew my business with somebody. I think that's the better route. Yeah. After doing it the way I did it, but shit, I'm here now, and and and, 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 and I want my and, and at this point, and at <laughs> and this I point, want my and, 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 listen, and at this point, I got to figure it out from here. But I don't think that this is the best route at mm -hmm. all, which is to grind, 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 become truly successful, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, you're fighting to keep that success from your significant other. I think it's 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 it's. it's and they've made marriage this big business, and it just sucks Let all the Let me ask you this. sucks for everybody. Real quick. So you made a point. You're wealthy now, and you have to think about things that you wouldn't ordinarily think about. Right. Um, there was a podcast they Harley Initiated did with um, Mecca Moore and Brandy Harvey, Steve Harvey's daughter. Okay. And the ladies were saying that, essentially, we expect criteria from one part from the opposite sex that we don't follow ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. And so ladies, if you want this six figure or seven figure man, but you're not willing to do anything, you don't want to do any work, like that might not be in alignment. Like they, you may not ever get it because your mindset is, I just want to be kept for, you know, and there are men who want to do that. But also at the same time, uh, there are men like you who say, I want a woman who is 140 pounds. What's the age range of that woman? Just real quick. Uh, probably between 25 and 34. That's what you want? Well, the reason there's a reason why that number is significant to me because why? he wants children. There you go. Yeah. He wants okay. children. How and after and, af and after 34, unfortunately, and I didn't. This ain't. These aren't my words. Your eggs at that point are downgraded after a particular age, so and 34 is that age. That is valid. His reason yeah, is okay. valid, right? Medically, he wants children, and you don't want the high risk factor. Mm -hmm. But is, is it safe to say that a woman who's 140 pounds or less at that age is very physically fit? Yeah. Okay. Is it fair then to say, how old are you? Mm -hmm. 46. I'm a 46-year-old man who desires a 25-year-old physically fit I think stallion. that makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I think it makes... Makes perfect sense for me. Listen, let me tell you something. People that's rich, 
they're not marrying people their age. Okay, let me ask you this. And the reason, and it's a reason behind that is because unfortunately, and not everyone's like this, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, life tends to beat people down. Yeah. And it makes you a certain way. Mm. And guess what? People don't want to be around certain things. And if you can if you can afford a particular lifestyle, then it's okay. Okay, let's flip it. You said people who are rich aren't going to marry their age. It's the I think you meant men in that situation. Yes? Uh, listen, let me tell you something. Oprah didn't get married, you guys. Okay. Pay perfect. attention. Pay attention to what's going on. When people have stuff. Mm-hmm. They want to protect their stuff. Mm -hmm. And regardless of who they are, man or woman, they be like, I'm cool. And I can guarantee you even, and if they're going to do whatever they can to protect their stuff, yeah. unfortunately, because yeah. they it didn't, that's the way it happened. So let me ask you this. So right now, this is a real situation. Me, right? Um, I wouldn't say that I'm rich, but you I got am some a, stuff, right? I got some stuff. That's I, what I'm I talking about. I am a seven about. figure earner. The thing is, so right now I am in a period where my daughter and I were about to move. I'm, I'm ready to move. I own my mother's condo. I rent my condo in the same building. I have thought this whole time, I'm just going to go and rent another condo. I want to live in a different building. But randomly, this dream home, this dream town home that I've been wanting for two years becomes available. They, for however, get Deja's phone number. They call me, they call and say, oh, this town home is back on the market. Now, this is a one point, uh, a little bit over a million dollars. It's a million dollar townhouse, right? And so I go look at it, call my realtor. I'm like, this is it. We're making an offer. And then I had a conversation with another wealthy male friend. And he said, I see that you and Milan are doing y'all's little just practicing stuff. And I feel like you're being really intentional about marriage in your future, I would think twice about owning a million dollar home as a single woman because it's going to be highly intimidating to a lot of men. And I'm saying that as a man with a lot of money. Do you believe that that is that true? That sounds ridiculous. I don't, I don't think like that. What do you think, Dave? Yeah, I, I, I don't agree with that. Yeah. I, he, I, I hear it all the time. Like even... If a million dollars, a million dollars is candy. Yeah, that, but that's... In but LA. That's, but that's, no, it's candy. I'm... A million dollars is not a lot of money, so I don't. I don't. There are not a lot of. I'm not gonna pretend like it is. Average nine to fivers who can afford a million dollar home here in Atlanta, huh? Or is that is is that you what you said? I don't want that kind. Is of that money. what you're looking for? See now, now. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, but that's, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Is that what you're looking for? I am looking for. At this, if I'm being totally honest, well, that, I mean, you why y'all always speak? start off that way? I thought we was just being honest. Okay, we you're are. Right. Oh, man, you gotta, gotta, you gotta, gotta, gotta preface, preface it. it. Okay, yeah, we gotta right? preface it. Sometimes because y'all don't ever. What are you me. looking stuff for? Stuff needs an intro. Sometimes. At this point, in, in, at this oh, wait, point, no, no. Oh, you now sound like you settling. No, 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 no. Because you not, said at this point, no, <laughs> he got to the hot seat. Listen, I love this. I love this. Based on my experiences in dating, at this point, what I've realized is. What's most important to me is how that man makes me feel. Like, I want to be in a relationship that's that spoken, feels good. You know what that's spoken like? A rich person. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> but because yeah. that's it. Because that's exactly where you get at a, once you achieve certain things and certain, like, financial things you've already jumped over those hurdles. So now you're looking for a different experience in life. And I get it. I totally understand what you're talking about. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. Welcome. But I still would like a provider. Huh? I still I still want a provider. Huh? huh? Okay. You still want what kind of provider would you like? Mm -hmm. You I want him to go halves with you or you want him to take care of the bills? Yeah. Um, if I could pick my preference, I, mean, I would like. I don't want to pay like mortgage. I want a man to provide our dwelling. I want to. Okay, so we're in the top one percent to entrepreneurship again. So bad. We're back to the one so percent. Yeah. I'm thinking. We're I'm back like, to I'm the one percent. Like, but I How highly I attract this? the one percent. Huh? I mean, no. there's not an issue. I highly attract I'm the one percent. Unfortunately, transition. I still have standards. Like one percent, the one percenters for me doesn't make you the ideal man. There has to be more depth to it's, you. It's one of your boxes 1%. that you want them to check. That's all it is. He can have the other stuff, it's but it's not required that you're. You a just one told person. me that yeah, real quick, but that that person's opinion is spoken like somebody who won't even approach someone that's too attractive because they're they're intimidated by them. 
that you got to take that person's like who is that person you know what i mean they married like, to a baddie yeah but maybe they had they they had a special situation or maybe they was in the right situation where like for me i am good if we all in this area i'm good i'm out here but i'm never going to approach somebody that's just walking and they look bad and all that i'm not going to do that yeah cuz that's just not what i'm into he's probably that same way yeah I want to know what you guys think in the comments. Do you believe that a woman can box herself out of being approachable by men because she has acquired too many assets mm. and makes too much money? So you, but I don't see, first of all, anybody that said you're not pretty, that's a damn lie. Thank you. You over AD. there looking fine as hell. Thank and you. Let me tell you, you over there glowing, girl. With my that's overweight period. self. Yeah, listen. I <laughs> you don't lose too much but you good. I'm not saying. With I never, my overweight self. I never no, said anyone was overweight. I got I, What I said was what I prefer. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just like you said, you prefer a provider. I do. Everybody has certain boxes that they want people to check off. And it's fair. And that's, and that's okay. It's just, you know. And to be honest, I think you're going to get all your boxes. I do, too. I know you are. You said are. something earlier. Um, I don't remember what point of the conversation, but you said something about people start settling. Like, people start believing that and I don't think what they do want that. doesn't exist. Mm. Exist. And I think, like you, I prioritized my career for several years. And it wasn't even my career. What I prioritized was my daughter. Like, you know, coming from a place where you lose everything and you're literally pouring gallons of water in the back of a toilet tank to flush your toilet. Mm. Like, Talk I could it. not be focused on... Men, I had to focus on my daughter. And by the time I got back on my feet, she was of age to see her mother's moves. So I couldn't have men. I didn't have the luxury, not based on how I wanted to be perceived as a mom. I didn't have the luxury of having men in and out of my house. I'm a single mom now. I can't have men coming in and out. So the relationships that I chose for myself at that time, though I did care for those people very deeply, I knew that there was going to be an expiration date to it. You're not going to be ideal, and that was safe for me because I got my daughter in. Uh, I don't want her. It was traumatic for both of us when her father got married, right? When he got married, the day before his wedding, I thought she was great. My daughter broke down. I thought my mommy and daddy were going to get back together. Mm -hmm. And, you know, is he going to still, if they have more kids, is he going to still make me a priority? That was traumatic for me because now I'm like, my daughter feels at 10 years old, she feels like I'm no longer going to be somebody's priority. So it became my priority to be very intentional about it's just me and you, kid, me and you. And that probably wasn't the right thing to do. My mother did the same thing. It, I'd never seen anyone my mm -hmm. mother was dating when I was a kid. Yeah. She never brought anyone home. She never stayed out of the house. She just, That's exactly what she did. And that's something, to be honest, should be honored and respected. Thank I think you. that shit is dope. Thank you. But now on the other side of it, now my daughter's 21 and I'm 44. And unfortunately for me, it was my very late 30s, early 40s when I really started dating and intentionally like okay this is what I think I want well now I don't have missed out on the whole 20s experience of really getting through that phase so now it's it's late it's become my turn later but I won't settle I will die a single woman before I marry somebody that doesn't check the boxes there you go yeah and my boxes aren't ridiculous so I, you know what I mm. asked him but I didn't ask you the woman that's 200 and something pounds mm-hmm and she wants the gazillionaire, is she dreaming? I'm asking you, because he answered, he thinks it's anything's possible, but you're, 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 you're in this game right now. <laughs> you're in it right now. He's actually married, he's not in the game. So I'm asking you, is it possible? Or is she dreaming? So I know um, a woman, we both know a woman. A woman. Okay, one, but so uh, okay. I can't answer your question okay. as an absolute. I know a woman who's I recently married. I want to know married. your your absolute. I don't, not, I don't not, speak not, in You absolutes. can't base it on one experience that you saw right. years but, ago. No, no, I'm no, no, saying, no. what do was, you think? Is, do you think that say, she's being realistic? I or know not? a woman that has recently married in the last year. Okay. Who is probably about 300 pounds? Okay. Who attracted her a very nice looking wealthy man? Okay. Yes, but I also can. It's I don't think it's a weight thing. I think it's got more to do with it. Like there are some women who are 200 pounds and they carry themselves very well, beautiful spirit. Like you cannot deny their energy. Yes, they fall in love all the time. But then there are some people who skinny or overweight. 
your, your energy is trash. Your character is trash. Your hygiene is trash. The way you care for yourself is trash. The way you speak is trash. You're not ideal for all anybody. That, all that is true. I'm saying, is it realistic? For some women, yes. No, you keep cleaning it up. Because that's keep, the truth. You can't, AD, you, can't, you want to back me? No, 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 no. Yes, it's you realistic. Keep, no. Yes, it's realistic. It's realistic. Not for every. I don't believe that see, everything. See, see, she really, honestly, she doesn't really believe it. And the oh, reason, I do. No, the reason why you don't is because you always clean it up for some people. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I've the seen it once way, before. Like, I, <laughs> no, that's that's all I'm trying I to say. People, like we have, but we have to be honest with people. I teach we gotta people say, how look, to become, you want to be in the top one percent? You gotta look like the top one percent. I teach people how to, how to get into the top one percent. You're saying but I attractive, understand right? That I have way more people who want it than will actually get it. It's realistic for a very small portion of you. That's why the one percent is the one percent. 99% of you are going to be dis uh, disappointed and you're going to have to reevaluate some things. 99% Oh, so that's so that's your truth. We're talking about 1%. So 99% of the women that's money. 200 plus I'm talking about is money. not going to happen. You're talking about weight. I'm talking about money. <laughs> <laughs> we can do this all day. <laughs> and I'm, no, I'm just having fun. It's yeah, all, me too. Me yeah, too. It's, just, it's all good but, fun. But I do believe what I here's what I do believe. Okay. I do believe that when we are seeking um, partnership. We want a spouse. We want a husband. We want a wife. I do believe that we have to be truthful about who we are and what we bring to the table, the pros and the cons, because when people think about what I bring to the table, it's always, I got money. I got this. I got this. Yeah. But you also got the health condition. You got the bad. <laughs> kids you got the crazy ex stalker boy like you got to talk about what you're bringing fully to the table and i think that you should be realistic about based on what i bring to the table i should be looking for this type of person like if you got a bunch of small kids then you're probably looking if you're a woman with a bunch of small kids then you're probably looking for a man who either wants children or has, or has children yeah. has children himself right you want to date somebody that doesn't mind play dates in the park and that's your date night out you can't be a woman with five children and you're solely responsible for them, but your ideal mate is a man who doesn't want children. That is not a realistic expectation. Yeah, and also, bro, like just because you have money, it doesn't change what you look at and what you see and what you like. There are people who don't want no skinny woman, bro. Like, yo, shout out to my man. Uh, it's not my man. I don't know him, but I follow him on Instagram. I think Dope Sells Itself or Dope Sells Itself, something like that. He got a podcast. Um, and he's always talking about, and I, he's probably an attractive brother based on, you know, what you like, but he's always talking about like, yo, he, he lined up these three women. One was slim, one was big, one was bigger. He was like, yo, there's a clear choice here. He's like, that. <laughs> he's like, I like the big, ones. you know what I mean? That that's what you like. So even if, if he became, got millions, it doesn't change what you like. You know I was I mean? talking about, we were talking about me. No, you weren't talking about you. You but, were talking about all rich men together oh, okay when i said the 140 thing that was definitely for me right but you're now, saying like i don't that. believe i don't believe at all zero percent <laughs> okay zero percent that someone's 200 something a pound is going to marry the billionaire now she says she's seen this oh, happen not a billionaire but a millionaire for sure millionaire. they're not a billionaire she said, says she, that's she, this. she says she's seen this happen I have. I've yet to seen it. Yeah. I've yet to seen it. I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just saying <laughs> I've yet to see. Yeah, yeah, y'all gotta see this though. All right. Like, well, I don't know if you'll be able to like see it and experience it, but this is a look. This is the question is clear. It's very ignorant. However, the internet is flooded with ignorant ignorance nowadays. Yeah, right so I don't thing. apologize for this. It's just what it is. If the question is, where's the most pleasure derived <laughs> out of these three women here, right? Where would you get the most fulfillment? You know what I mean? Like content, gratification. You heard? This woman is at 65 kilograms. This woman's at 94 kilograms. This woman's at 133 kilograms. Now, a kilogram is 2.2 pounds, right? So, do the math. I've never personally seen a before and after, and I thought the after looked better. Never. You heard? It's clear here. It's clear. Which, one, which experience would you rather have? Where would you rather spend your time? You know what I mean? <laughs> One experience is very titillating and the others isn't. You heard? Fat is where it's at. <laughs> so he said yeah, what fat? fat is where it's at but, yeah, see, that's, but that's his preference <laughs> but you're he saying I, never I've never seen it before I'm saying after. it's unrealistic <laughs> listen where the after look better that's crazy 
Every like <laughs> you, you mentioned it before. There's it happens once. It happens. It happens. It, it happens, happens way more it, than you it, think. It, it ha- nah, it no, it does. No, it don't. No, it don't. You live, bro. You live in LA. You live in LA. Listen, Come on, we got to stop. You live in LA where everybody vegan and they running on the beach and like the same thing as them. Yeah, come it's on, man. Different. Hey, you want that? You want that little underarm that can cook them grits? You know, what I mean? that's what you, you want, want that baby. Arm, I'm telling you. Know you. I'm telling you. Hey, Yo, it may, and, and, maybe and, it may be different here. And it's not my experience. I don't remember. It was a time frame. You can actually see like pictures, paint like portraits, where the heavier you were, the more attractive you were in those ancient times, because you represent someone that's childbearing. And like the bigger you are, the more attractive. It was a time, yeah. God, and you were time. eating well. Yeah, you see, it was, was an indication well that you were eating well. And anyway, if you were eating well at that I'm time, you had money. We have progressed as a society. <laughs> <laughs> but even yo, I mean, yo, even I, I have scrolled the internet. I have actually consciously scrolled the internet, <laughs> um, like for some people who are really into their fitness, some wealthy men who are really into their fitness, and then you know why they become start getting in shape because hmm. they don't want to die rich. That's right, they they, right. They, and so they're and the and just based upon that same information is the reason why they're gonna do certain things and pick a certain mate. Well, what every I was billionaire going to say, that I know works out like crazy. What I was going to say is, I have scrolled the internet and I have seen men, multimillionaire men, who are very much into their physical fitness, but then their wives are absolutely not. And I'm always thinking like, wow, that's a really unique match. Like I say today, I don't want to date. I don't want to marry a fitness, a fitness trainer. I don't want to marry a gym head. I go to the gym regularly, but chill. I do three days a week. All right. Three, maybe four. If I'm really feeling myself, I don't want to be committed to anybody who wants to see me do physical fitness activity seven days a week. I don't need that kind so of pressure want, in my you life. Wanna, you want to get married, be happy, have some kids, and let it all go at some point. I never want to let it go, and it has nothing to do with a man. Donnie Wiggins ain't letting nothing go. I ain't letting nothing go Talk in 44 years. We ain't letting it go ever. I mean, we'll That's just who I am. That's what makes me feel good. We'll see. We'll see. Because you be good. We'll see. You be good. You're going to have this man take you out all the time. And we're on vacation. There ain't going to be a whole lot of gym time. You're going, going to Europe. There's you're going... always time to prioritize your health. We so when we're having a conversation see. about being overweight, and it's a, it's a choice, like you're eating yourself into overweight. We're not talking about illnesses and pre-existing conditions. I feel like anybody, like... What I stand for is helping people to identify and recognize that they need to constantly be in pursuit of their best selves. I don't think choosing to let your, yourself fall off is in pursuit of being your best self. So I'm always going to encourage fitness and mindset and development. That's just mm-hmm. what I stand. That, those are my core values that I stand on. So, so would you pick week. a guy that's obese? Obese? No. Why not? Because that's not that's not because you're in the top one percent. No, it's not. Yes, yes. Okay. But even even no, before I was out of control. even when I was broke, I had the same standard. But it's not the core principles that I stand on. I am very much like I am very much aware of physical fitness. I desire like I I work to make sure I can use my arms and my legs and my fingers and my toes. Like the these are things that I'm doing that are preventative. They're not guaranteed. I am conscious about my weight. I am conscious about how I look and feel, right? And so if I choose a mate who is not, that's going to be a point of contention for us. I don't want that in my relationship. Now, on the other hand of that, my my preference physically are six feet and higher, right? Six feet and taller. I do like a tall man, but I either like them super fine or a little fluffy. Either like I could tell you used to work that you might work out, but you ain't you eating good too. Like your arms got some tone in them, but your stomach a little fluffy. You either got to be super fine or super fluffy. I don't do super fluffy, like fluffy in the midsection. I like a little stomach to lay my head on, mm. or I like a super chiseled stomach. Either way, but I won't do obese. That's not attractive to me. Hey, right, real quick, um, the views shared here do not share. How you say it? Uh, the social proof does here. not uh, share the, the, opi- the, the opinions <laughs> of all the things shared on this episode. I want to put I that out there. I think the best way to state what I am attracted to do men you know, who care about themselves. Do you notice how David is staying away from this conversation? I'm out of this. 
<laughs> I'm out of this. Yo, real quick, can I get some takeaways from this? Give me your takeaway. What's your takeaway from this episode? Yeah, keep, There's been some good keep, information. Yadi or Jada, give me your takeaway. You can go first. Um... I, I think it was you. I like what you were saying about not waiting until you're super successful to uh, start dating. You want 40, ain't you? Huh? See, that's why she like your opinion. She want 40. No, no she, she like 119. Yeah. yeah. Well, under 140. No, no, but she wasn't saying that. How She's old saying that she saying? would rather be in a relationship and build it with yeah, her man yeah, yeah. and grow with her right. man oh, and do all those things. Right. That that is definitely a better. I option. think that's a better situation it is. than uh, yeah. Now I will stuff say mess, messes it up. It appears yeah, that man. when you have money, I will say it opens sure. the doors to the type of people that you have access to. Like access to men is not limited. However, your preferences definitely change when you're a one percent earner you also have a one percent mindset and you start paying like i'd be looking at how he spend his money what is he frivolously spending money on what's he doing what those things matter i think it's harder mentally when you have money because like ad said you're thinking about so much um if i could have done it over if somebody would have told me one day your daughter is gonna grow up and she's gonna leave and it's just gonna be you I probably would have prioritized like serious relationship. I wouldn't have done like the long distance dating on purpose. I would have done that earlier in my twenties. And so I, I tell young girls that now, like don't, don't let a mom and being a single mom, like stop you from that. I wish I had done that differently for sure. Anybody else? Give me a takeaways. Yeah. My takeaway on today was a really good conversation because it lets you see the relationship side of entrepreneurship. Yeah. which is not something you speak about a lot. Um, being a businesswoman and you're always driven, I've got to go out there and make that money and all of this, you lose track of those things. And so I'm really feeling that this is a very enlightening discussion that we're having today, what's true, what's not true. Um, and then sometimes the truth is hurtful because you know we may have a, a fantasy or illusion about we want this or we want that, but I really think the bottom line that I got was that if you really want something, really go after it and be true about it. Mm -hmm. We had a similar discussion, um, Alicia and I coming over, that if you say you're something out there, you have to show up as that person that you desire to be. Mm -hmm. So Ooh, that's one that. of the things that I got from this discussion. So to me, it was very, you know, we talk about business and entrepreneurship here, but I think this is a discussion that was well needed. Good. Fred, I need a man's... <laughs> I like to hear you. Well, um, first and foremost, I would like to say that um, if you are in a relationship where your intention is to marry, I believe it is best to abstain from sex um, because for me, this was the best decision that I ever made. <laughs> This is the best decision that I ever made because I am walking into this more sober than I've ever been in my life. That's good. And um, I also have grown to a point where I've been proud of myself because I've been able to, you know, have strength in this situation. Of course, I believe given to me by God. And I believe that the relationship is blessed as a result of that. And yeah. opportunities are coming to us as a result of that. But what I would also like to say to you, David, you are a trailblazer. Nobody likes the trailblazer while he's blazing the trail. That's a fact. But when the results come and the trail is paved and everybody's walking through it, they're all going to be singing your praises. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing with the hot seat is amazing. Nobody mm -hmm. else is doing it. Mm -hmm. And that's why everybody has something to say, because most of them don't have the balls to do it. Oh. But you stepped up and you're making it happen. And yes, people are going to say stuff in the comments, but most of the people that do say stuff in the comments don't have a life, especially if they want to say something negative. They're going to sit and they're going to comment on your video and the next person's video and the next person's video, and they're going to continue to do it. This is just what they do. That is yeah. what they Bro, do. Bro, if I'm being honest, that inspired Trailblazer. Me. It really, really did. I'm going back. Yo. Can you tell, see yourself? Yo, tell, um, talk and see if we drop a Jada's episode this week. Yes. Let's get it, Jada. Yes. Anybody else got anything? Anybody else? Goodness gracious. This was uh, quite an... Okay, go yeah. for it. Um, well, one thing I do want to say, 
You never dropped my hot seat, my full episode. We didn't have we didn't have a full episode, did we? We the I mean, one we you sat, sat there here for like fifteen did you, minutes. We did you like sit? Minutes. It was only like six minutes. That was a trial. Now nah, we'll we'll jump back in though. Yeah, let's go, man. Yeah, we can do that. Let's yeah. get it. Um, but yeah, my takeaway I would say is one. Um, I can't remember. I think I think he said it or whatever. Ad. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, definitely like when it comes to like relationships and like females and stuff, you just kind of gotta go for what you want. Um, I think like for me, I've kind of went for like maybe like the female that not all the dudes are after, even though I really want that one. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel you, bro. I've been like that. Yeah. Because yep. like you don't want like if she getting all the attention, then you got to fight everybody else off. And it's it ain't like, that. You're just like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get that one. I mean, well, it's not even that. It's no, like, it's I, that for sure. I know the I feeling, bro. I mean, it's I mean, like, I, 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 it, I listen, like, bro. I dated the friend <laughs> so many times. It's crazy. I'm just going after the one that I think I can get. Yeah. But that's why, yo, that's why when I met my wife on uh, on Tinder, I was, I could just scroll. You know what I mean? I ain't got to approach you. I just got to, I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you. Then she is a little baddie. They hit me back. I said, oh, let's go. And now it's a conversation mode. I got him. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you're just, you're just afraid like me, bro. It's all good. I mean, no, I wouldn't say that. A little. I, I'm, I'm, When's the last time you saw somebody super attractive, you just approached, walked up like, yo, what's up? How are you? Um, a couple months. What, couple do you, months. what do you What do you? What do you want to do in life? What do I want to do? Yeah, what's <laughs> your goal? I always, I always brace myself for AD. Like, what, <laughs> like when AD a ask a question like that, so, so no, tell me, what do you want to do? That's fair. I thought that was, don't it you think fair. that was fair? It's a fair question. What do you want to do in life? So I'm in TV and journalism and stuff, so I'm a news anchor now here in Atlanta. Um, okay. So yeah, I want to continue on a TV route and stuff like that. Then I also have my own production company and stuff. So, okay. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, the Hold other on, you got that else? Not yet. I mean. <laughs> I keep, keep going. Keep no, going. no, no. I, I just wanted to see what he was, you know, what he was chasing. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Because life is a race. And if you see the girl that you want, that could be the girl of your dreams. And if you don't approach her and, you know, you shine away from that, I tend to think, so. who am I? I just tend to think that that's the way you're going to treat your business. Mm -hmm. That's me. I, I disagree. Huh? I disagree. Good luck with that. No, no, I disagree, I'm I disagree telling 100%. You. I'm telling let me, you. Let me say Animals this. are animals. Yeah. Beasts are beasts. One, mm -hmm. Be and that's what it is. Yeah. And it's okay for you to learn it now. Yeah. And I'm just telling you the truth. And let me also say. If that's say, something you want, you can go get it. That's it. From a woman's perspective, what David just said and you agreed to, like, I don't go for her because I don't think I can get her. That's likely one of the most annoying things but I you hear know what? every single but day. No, 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 no. All the time. Oh, I would have never approached you, Donnie, because I don't think I can get you. Donnie, not, Donnie, not guess, what? Could, guess, could, yes. but, Donnie guess what? Donnie, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? This is what it is. Now, wa watch this, Donnie. Donnie, watch this. He don't think like that now. Oh, he doesn't think like that now. And you know why he don't think like that now? Because he rich. Talk to me now. Because he's rich. It changes you. It makes you different. It gives you confidence. And that's all I'm saying. But guess what? You could have been a rich 10 years earlier. It's an attitude change. Mm. That's it. I'm telling you, think about it. And that's all I was trying to say. And yeah, I'm not trying cool. to, to no, downplay you in a way. I'm just saying, be a mother beast out here. Mm. That's what this shit is about. Hey, that's, that's a long good. bleep, Kashif. Just yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> But don't believe too much though, because that was that was, that was a strong point. That's good. That's good. Okay. What? Okay. You give it to what you want me to do? I, you closer to me? Okay. This 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 is good. This is good. I was nervous so about this, this episode. Very, <laughs> this is very entertaining, but I'll say my two takeaways was one: uh, stand on what you believe. Mm -hmm. um, y'all both were very firm <laughs> on what y'all believe. <laughs> and then the second thing is don't settle. I think I settled so before. Gotcha. So yeah, don't, yeah, don't yeah. settle. This, yeah, this is, first off, if I said half of the stuff that he said, people would hang me. But I think because you are so confident and you're, I, I'm actually inspired because I realized, like you said, could have had been doing well 10 years ago because I've always been the person like, I've had a friend that they say, yo, we're going to get into the club for free. And he'll go up to the bouncer and do whatever he does. And they're like, no. And I'm like, all right, I guess we got to go home now. But there's these people that are just super, uh, like, uh, persistent. And they make it happen. Like, they can get into any room because they have And that's exactly and who you are now, right? 
it's not at, not exactly. I'm better. I'm a lot better than I was, but I still slightly care about what someone thinks about me, which has helped me back more than I can count. Like it has a lot. Yeah. I really honestly believe that everybody in this room could be a millionaire. And I promise in my heart, I believe that 100%. But I also believe there's about one to two and maybe three things that you have to change within your personality that's going to, whether or not you're going to be successful. That's it. And your personality. Pers it's, I think every it's all personality. Oh, it's all personality now? It's, wait, wait a minute, about becoming a success? Oh, okay. It's all about personality. That's why, hey, some of them big girls got swag, bro. They'll get you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Y'all can't wait to see, bro, like. Who he marries? Listen, it's not going to happen. Cannot I mean, wait nah, to see who you marry. It's not going to happen. This is, he, he, what he happens when you marry the 140 who turns <laughs> into 180 over, over the course uh, of a couple years? That is a years. great question. It's called, it's inside the prenuptial. There's a weight clause there. No way. Absolutely, 100%. Look at, look at her face. <laughs> No, 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 no. I was just joking. But really, no, honestly. Hold on. No, no. Listen, I'm Were only going to marry someone. I'm only going to marry someone that's as vain as me. That's it. And that's the person that I'm going after. I <laughs> want somebody that's sick? super vain. You know what Listen, would scare me about you? Do you nah. know what would scare me about you? What's that? What if I get sick? What if I get into an I'm accident? I'm going to take the best care of you you've ever had in your life. You're going to have the best of everything. But I gain weight. Huh? I'm 180 now. I'm willing, listen, scenario, if you gain weight because of a health reason, trust me, I'm going to be there to fight with you 100% because I picked you. And when I picked you, I want you to be just as successful as me out of life. Period. End of discussion. If you have any desires or dreams, I want you to accomplish all of that. And, be, and if you get sick, trust me, I'm going to be there. Mm. 100%. But but huh? if y'all have three kids, but I'm and just, she can't huh? get that weight off. Huh? That baby fat is real. Let me tell you something. For one, I only want one kid, so we can get through that. Yeah, you can have twins can or get, triplets. Man, look at Donnie over there, fine as a mother. Where are we talking about? We can get through one kid. We're gonna be all right. But what if she has twins or triplets, bro? What if you have twins? Twins or triplets? Twins. Twins. What? And what does that get, mean? I don't know what that means. Can't get the weight off. I don't. I don't believe that that's true. You don't believe that that's true? I don't believe that people can't get the weight off. I mean, I'm I don't believe that. I don't believe in that. I believe that people can accomplish anything. You're and right. I live by that. But, okay, get that, put that weight on, but doesn't get the weight off. Is that a conversation that you got to have? I would definitely have a conversation. On I'm not afraid of that conversation. Is there because they already, is there listen, the person I decide to marry knows exactly who I am. People you know, change, they, though. Uh, people change. That's not changing. That's not changing. I'm just telling you the truth. That's not, that's not what, that's, that's me. That's okay. People always want to be nice to everybody. Every, people always want to say the right things and be perfect and be liked. I really don't give a shit about that. I don't, One I don't day, care. AD, every fine man who's vain is going to walk around with the same old wrinkly set of balls. Absolutely. And you want some bad chick to no, have to listen, deal with that listen, every day. Listen, we're all going to be old one day and it's all going to be over but while we here we should live this shit up but we're still Period. living we should live it up we should have fun huh 180 guess what let me tell you let me okay so this is my issue with weight because i really i mean people can Please. be whoever they want to be first of all 70 percent of the population is obese when you go to other countries it's not like that you guys they, they, they do more walking. They do more exercise. They're in a different state. America's in a really messed up state when it comes to weight. And we're acting like it's okay. And we're taking a blind eye to it. I agree it. with that. And it's wrong. You shouldn't. I'll never forget when I was with one of my friends who was obese. We came to these flight of stairs. They looked at that flight of stairs like it was the end of the world. <laughs> and guess what? And, not, and this is a really true thing. And they, and they have to really make a conscious decision. Is it worth it? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be with that person that's mm -hmm. thinking that. Is it worth it? Yeah. Guess what? Life is worth it. Mm -hmm. Lose the weight. Get to a healthier place. 42% of African Americans have high blood pressure. 38% of us have diabetes. We're leading in all categories and when it comes to race. And it's ridiculous because we make bad choices when it comes to food. Mm -hmm. It's just a choice. We're making bad choices. And that's why weight is an issue for me. And I want 
all African Americans, I want all people to make better decisions when they get to that dinner table because it plays a role in life. It plays a role in the sense that how long you gonna be here? I wanna grow old with my mate. I don't want them to have diabetes all of a sudden, they cutting off limbs. I don't want them to have high blood pressure where they start looking at stairs and it's gonna be too much for them. I don't wanna be around that. I wanna be around somebody that wanna live and you can't live life to its fullest when you're overweight. I know we like to pretend like you can, but you can't. Yeah. Because them flight of stairs is coming. <laughs> They coming. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. They coming. That elevator this might go out. This might have been the most motivational episode we've had in a long time. And for some weird reason, I'm super inspired. <laughs> Ready to get the work. Ready Golly. to hit the gym. You're right. You're right. And with that mindset, from that perspective, like I just want a vibrant mate who radiates life. Absolutely. I get that. I went to Paris years ago. I took Deja to Paris and I remember on the train, um, our tour guide who was there, men were get or people were getting up for overweight people, giving them their seats like they would a woman or a pregnant person. And when we got off the train, our tour guide, I asked like, why was everybody giving their seats up? Like those people weren't elderly. And he said, oh, here, and this was a long time ago, this was 2013 ish. Um, he said, Oh, here we see obesity as an illness, and we offer it our is. seats to people who are ill. Mm. And 70% of the United States is ill. Period. That's okay. what's going on. So everybody think that I'm being super vain. Nah. Well, you I'm are. I, you are. I'm you are. okay For with sure. that too. But I'm also about life. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, we are leading in every single health issue as black people, yeah. and it's ridiculous. Mm hmm. Soul food is doing people in left and right. And I just, just doesn't make any sense to me. Mm. Makes no sense. I, mm. I don't want to be with somebody that see that flight of stairs and be like, what's up there? Why are we going? Where's the elevator? I'm good. I love some soul food, bro. I was just thinking about <laughs> where we were going to go right. eat after. It's not <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be kill me crazy or something working with this guy. <laughs> we didn't okay. sat at the table with AD and messed up a couple of ribeyes. Oh, 100 percent Yeah, yeah a little, little, the, little cream um, corn, yeah, yeah, little yeah, spinach. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, life is about moderation. Ain't nothing wrong with having having a night out and living it up. Yeah. Yeah. But we already know you didn't you did kept it in shape. Yeah. You, you in good shape. So therefore, you obviously making great I'm decisions. In good shape too. Huh? I know. <laughs> David don't eat past eight. Then when David, he come to L.A., he's like, what time is it? He's like, he ain't messing around. I'm good for you. That's, that's really good for you. Yeah, There's been a lot. Oh, you guys, basically, in this episode, uh, we don't want you to settle. Don't settle. And especially, my ladies, don't start panicking, thinking it's getting too late. Trust me. If you keep yourself together, mind, body, mm -hmm. and spirit. Yep. You'll never run out of options. There will always be an option. It's about being your best self. So we're not settling. But also at the same time, don't wait too late. Like don't wait later than you have to because of reasons that you think are valid in real time that 20 years later won't be as valid and prioritize your health. Like take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. All this hard work that we're doing every single day to make all of this money and gain this wealth you want to be able to experience it. You want to be able to utilize it. When you're on vacation and you're taking uh, you know, vacation away from your company, you want to be able to go on the excursions. You don't want people to tell you no. You don't want to have to consider an underlying health issue. Take care of yourself. It's important. And That's you want do. to get on that ride at Disneyland. And you want, or a ride, yep. period. And if you tall and fine or fine and fluffy, hit the DM, Donnie's open. <laughs> Right, I mean, hey, I mean, you got to be intentional. Oh uh, no, you got to be top one percent too. Active. Yeah, don't yeah. forget that. And you got to be in the top one percent. You got to be top one percent. You can't you gotta be afraid. You got to love yourself. You got to care about yourself. You got to love me. You got to love you more. Donnie, than you are love you gonna me. marry somebody that makes less than you? It's possible. She's about to lie. Just not listen. <laughs> We're not going there because we be having these conversations. It's just like. Making up stuff for well, the comments and it's stuff. It's possible, crazy. and I say it's possible because it depends on when they catch me, right? Today, um, it's also very possible that I won't. It's very possible that I'll date somebody or marry somebody who earns more than me. Um, I've never, I've only dated, like, for real love, real commitment, marriage-minded, 
one man who made more money than me. Like people have this perception of me. I've always dated on my financial level or below. Um, now at that time, remember, I wasn't also being very intentional. Yes, so I don't yeah, know if that's yeah. my type or what, but I've only for marriage, I've dated men that had money, but men that I actually said I could marry him. There's only been one that made significantly more money. David than me. doesn't seem to buy this story. And David listen, don't know Thank nobody that I've dated. <laughs> except one, David know one, maybe two people. You haven't seen me date a lot of people. Have you? I can name two. I can name four. In seven years, you can name four people that, and you got to be talking about. And I've been on, come on. And you got to be talking about. You want to talk about it now? You no, got to. Well, but you, we've been when on the you plane, say date. We've been on the plane. We've been on an airplane? On an airplane. Okay. And we're looking through your little dating app. Yeah. And the comments that you make about these humans that are coming across. Yeah. What about it? About their, come on, man. No, some of y'all be on Bumble with like ridiculousness, right? Like how dare you have the audacity to present yourself that way? I'm always going to, like don't underpresent yourself. But you've never been on Bumble and said, ah, oh, you, look, you look broke. Yeah, you can't look. Okay, all, that's all I'm whoa, saying. Whoa, 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 like, wait. I just want to have a real honest yes. conversation. Some, <laughs> some people present themselves broke. Some people have a very broke presentation. And for no, you can have all the money in the world. And if you present yourself broke, I'm not interested. That's not the type of man that I, I don't present broke. I'm, and I'm okay with that. You just, anyway. But broke right. is also relative. I'm not dating anybody broke by any means. And dating someone who earns less than me doesn't mean that I'm that's going true. from from seven figures to broke. Like that's Here's the thing. I, not what I, that means. I really, I would love for you to fall in love with like someone that is just. Do you have somebody for person. a day? They don't make enough money. Oh. That gets on my nerves so bad because he's never seen that to be true ever. And I'm curious to know who these so four guys are. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to know who four guys uh -huh. are. You know that I've dated. Dated? Yeah. Who? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it after. <laughs> hey, but listen, okay, if you're if you're Do you mean gone on a somewhat, date with? No, you were in a relationship so, with? So listen, y'all. You know two. <laughs> just shoot, just shoot the shot. You never know, because you know you two. never know. I know four. I can name four for sure. Okay, after this show, I need to know who I they got you, are. No problem. Yeah. All right. Because um, if I forgot you, we weren't dating. <laughs> hey, hold on. You got I've known this account? man since 2014. 17, eight, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. In nine years, okay, he can name four people that I've dated. If I forgot you, we never dated. That didn't count. Solid. Okay. Uh, Thank y'all for tuning in. Hey, like, subscribe. Hey, do you got anything else flagrant to say? To flagrant? People? Deja, how many men have ah. you known me to date? Three. Your whole life? Three. Oh. Mm. That I can like, think of a long time ago. All right, good. Okay. She's 21 years old. That's good. I got four off the top. And you're going to say, yep, yep, I want to yep, know yep. who they, I can't wait. I got you. I believe. I'm going to so so text you a little list. It, text me now. <laughs> because... <laughs> Here's, here's the other thing about me, though, AD. I believe in dating a lot. I will go on plenty of dates with people that I like because I think that there is a filtering process. I believe in that. Yeah. I mean, so I got to make sure that we're talking about people that I actually was in a romantic relationship with versus, oh, yeah, we went on a couple of dates. It didn't work out. Like, that's the only way you get to know. If right. This Hurry up. Their names can't be that long. Nah, because the one, I don't know the name, but I'm saying the guy that... This is this is this is a real this is intense. I'm actually know. curious now. Me too. I'm sure everybody on the internet wants to know now. Come on, hurry up! All right, I got you. I just said it. We didn't date. Who? The last one. We weren't. We yes, weren't you dating. No, 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 no. So he's you talking about. Out? He flew me out. He had to fly me out. So what are we talking about right now? Because he lived man. out of town. We had okay. to go on a date the, the, out of state. So he's talking about a guy. So three of those names are very valid. Yes, three people. But the fourth person, he's talking about this guy who flew me out one time. Was it Diddy? Nah, y'all was, no. was, was, was feeling him. Y'all was talking all the time. No, we talked on the phone all the time. I had one in-person experience with him when he flew me out for a did date he because he, he lived in Vegas, of course. 
Um, but then I got back with my ex, so saying? I immediately ghosted him. You see what I'm saying? I didn't date him. But all the people had bread, so that's this is the sample size. That I'm no, going you over. hold on, hold on, because this guy for sure ain't have no bread and yeah, still don't. I know what he's talking about. He did kind of a little bit. This guy, a little had, bit. This guy had no I, bread. He had some bread. He had fake bread. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, uh no maybe money. close us out with a word of wisdom man i would probably say life is a fight mm -hmm. and you gotta be willing to fight for what you want out here yeah and there ain't nothing wrong with going for it you know what i mean you just gotta put your heart into it because i swear to god everybody always think i'm crazy i ain't super smart all I did was work every single day. That's it. And everybody in here can achieve their dreams, whatever it is. It's just about putting in the work and do you really want it? Yeah, but don't be overweight trying to get no rich man because that's man, not listen, possible. Listen, that is not happening. <laughs> <laughs> you can go make millions, but you bet not. Got to approach somebody with some bread. Don't bring your <laughs> overweight self over here around me. If you can't climb 10 Flight of stairs. Man, I'm telling you, that's a real issue. All right, man. Stay okay. out of AD circle. Oh, yeah, for sure. Man. Today was yo, fun. There's, yeah, absolutely. There is no way anybody can attack me for this episode, so thank you, AD. Hey, listen. If I just stand next to AD long enough, <laughs> oh, I'm an angel. <laughs> so that's This cool. is true. This so, is um, true. So anything else you got to say? Listen, AD said it all. Yeah. Listen, I can't wait to do her podcast. It's going to be great. Yeah, I Because I can tell she can cut loose. It's gonna and be she incredible. ain't going to hold back. Yeah, it's a you little... be holding back, Dave. No. She, yo, first, I think she holds back more than I do. Psst, you can't believe that. <laughs> David calls so. me, Donnie, chill. <laughs> when? Not, this is not the time. I'll tell you to chill in the comments. Yeah, I don't hold back. Yeah. I don't hold back even on my show. No, that's good. Mm -hmm. Anyway. All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, share this with somebody, okay? If this is your favorite podcast, do yourself a favor. Go to your Apple Podcast app or Spotify, and I need you to hit that follow button. Please give us five stars if you think it's a five-star podcast. If you think it's a four-star podcast, give us five stars. But if you Add don't think it's a four or a five, keep your little raggedy stars. <laughs> yeah, just keep your little comments to yourself. <laughs> if you don't got nothing nice to say. <laughs> keep your little raggedy stars, all right? <laughs> like, subscribe, y'all. We love you. Peace. There you go. If you like the video that you just watched, click this one. You're going to like this one, maybe even more. Click it right now.